sir good morning all the respected delegates from the industry and the corporate world 10 o'clock i think it's a bit early but yes we have to keep the event on time because uh, we have so many guests are here they have their own meeting at starting from 11 11 30 12 so we try to be on time so we are going to have so many cios ctos ciso's technical evangelists from across the country so they will keep on coming in the day long so first of all thank you for attending the 21st edition of infotech forum 2023 i am excited to be part of the journey of transformation and possibilities i believe that everyone has the potential to transform their lives and technology is here to help people achieve their goals first of all i would like to thank the cios of india this association for supporting this year's eminent cio of india session we are thankful to the leaders who have shared their inputs to feature in the brand book. Friends, our world is changing. Our clients' business needs are changing. Processes are changing. And there are trends that are impacting not only the way our clients are thinking about the industries they are in the customers they serve, but also how they run their business. As companies continue to operate in a volatile, uncertain and lower growth world. They are forced to completely transform their business by making them nimble, which cost structures went lower and much more variable. We are witnessing how the tech leaders are struggling to adapt new age technologies, implementing new business models, creating new organizational structures and making their process more intelligent. And above all, they are looking for partners who can help them navigate their transformation journey. Today's entire session is centered on how to accelerate business transformation. When I talk about or think about business transformation, we have a leader who has seen the industry, I think, more than three decades. He's sitting in this room, Mr. Monochuk, who has seen the partner, customer, government officials, I, I know him from last three decades. So he is going to give more insights to the audience. From the ince inception of fire to the brilliance of smartphone, the human history is marked with innovations, with that happened unhappened civilizations and reshaping our lives in unimaginable ways. Friends, we are on the cusp of next technological revolution the downing age of artificial intelligence and invention that in retrospect my may leave us wondering how we ex exited pre-AI. A recent data point says worldwide IT spending is projected to total 4.7 trillion in 2023, an increase of 4.3% from 2022. Age CIOs continue to lose the competition for the IT talent they are shifting spending to technologies that enable automation and efficiency to drive at scale with fewer employees. Certainly, technology's duality is undeniable. A nurturing fire can also turn into a destructive force. However, its beneficial use have always outweighed the nefarious, a pattern we have the power to ensure continues. Indeed, a strong technology ecosystem is essential for growth. It provides companies with the resource and support they need to innovate and succeed. Having partners who truly understand the domain, industry, process, interlinkings, risks, and leverage points in a business is crucial for success. It allows for a deep understanding of the challenges and opportunities specific to that industry enabling effective decision making and strategic planning. Speaking on today's topic, optimizing digital transformation, it is a key priority for every organization seeking to leverage technology to improve their operations, customer experience, and overall competitiveness. Here are some of the steps considered where optimizing digital transformation that we are going to understand from the day-long presentations. Secondly, we are witnessing how they are leveraging technology, data analytics, and artificial intelligence to create user-friendly platform 
and offer personalized financial solutions from the fintech sector. Today, most organizations are hiring various type of hackers to help secure their technology and architecture. Somebody says that if you want to be, have a robust website or robust, robust platform, they should hire some white hackers, ethical hackers. But I'm not sure. We have a friends also, they can talk about that. They will tell you about what the loopholes, how to improve better things. The hackers are often referred to as white hat hackers or ethical hackers. Ethical hackers are similar to white hat hackers, but they are not necessarily employed by organizations. They often work as consultants or contractors. They use their skills to help organizations improve their security posture with the objective to succeed in making organizations more secure. We will understand more from today's panel discussion. We have three tracks of panel discussion. We have several keynote addresses on the growing threat over the virtual kidnapping schemes continue to evolve and exploit emerging technologies. It is crucial for individuals to remain vigilant and cautious when interacting online. Raising awareness about these threats and promoting cybersecurity measure will be paramount in countering the growing means of virtual kidnapping and protecting potential victims from falling prey to these malicious sectors. There are regular ransomware attacks happenings and it is a serious problem. With the ever increasing number of cyber attacks, the responsibilities of CISO and CTO and also the CIOs are increasingly critical and coming up with significant stakes. But this race will continue and evolve. Only I can say we need to empower ourselves with knowledge and skill sets. Finally, I have something what I believe that I would say, you only lose when you give up. Remember this. Remember this over and over again. You only lose when you give up. If you don't give up, you will win from the most incredible positions. The fight has to be in the mind. It is not physical. It has to be in the mind. As long as mind refuses its defeat, each setback will give you an opportunity to analyze itself. Where did I go wrong? It is an opportunity, crisis is an opportunity to evaluate yourself. Correct that, pick it yourself, you again move on and you will, and it will get you stronger. Every setback is an opportunity to learn, grow and become stronger. Pick yourself, get go with confidence. The only thing that overcomes is your passion and the hard work. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for being patient, such a patient audience and be a part of wonderful session ahead. Thank you.